What's going on guys? It is time for some Master Yi. Now I actually recorded the video showcasing the other Ionian cards, but I couldn't get it out in time by the time that this was going to be out anyway, so I figured I would just uh, wow, it's actually crazy to see Yi without his mask on. That's kind of nuts. It, now it makes sense. Like, everyone wears the weirdo mask. Anyway, uh, this is off the Twitter right now. I can watch now on YouTube. Fantastic. Thank you. I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, actually, you, Twitter, uh, YouTube probably has better quality. Hold on. Yes, it does. Fantastic. Look at that difference. That dramatic difference. All right. So we're going to be looking at Master Yi, and then I'm going to look at the other cards that were released yesterday, and now it will make more sense. Funny enough, I wish I could show you guys the video uh, and, and make claim to it, but yes, I actually predicted that Flow would make, work the same way as like the Claws of Dragons, but then I saw that they revealed that anyway. I just didn't, I didn't look on Twitter to see if they actually said it, but it made sense that it was going to work like uh, Eye of the Dragon and stuff like that. If you play two spells last round, then it would make sense. I think the equipments count as spells and that's what I'm hoping that this show thing is going to uh, show me, that that actually works. Now, Yi has his own sword, so I'm hoping that that has something to do with it as well. I don't know if his sword is going to be one of the special equipments, but let's just get right into it. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I need the love, baby, on this channel. Let's go. To restore this legacy is my greatest honor. That's it. That's the only pause I'm going to do, but I, I know his other voice, so it's very close. All right, so boom, round start. Yes, I I, I don't want it to go through for the throw thing and then not know. Round start, reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by one this round and flow, grant all allied everywhere plus two. What? Uh, and then once he does 12 damage. Round start, reduce the cost of a spell in your hand by one this round and flow, grant all allied Everywhere, all allied what? <laughs> so is it like anything that says everywhere on it gets plus two? Is that what I'm assuming? We'll see. There's so much to learn. How okay. Will I know when I'm ready? Even as a so-called master, there is so much I do not know. Ah! Good, good. <laughs> yes, kill it. Mind. Wow, free tell stones. Mind. Honed and sharp. Concentrate, you. See no. the spirit realm in your mind's eye. I can feel it. It's vast. I'm blinding. Wait, why did it... I have to go back. Why was that play twice? Spirit. In each hammer's blow, his spirit lives on. So that could be zero mana. For. My helmet could use some work. Elf pot to heal himself. Violence is and should always be the last resort. Now she gets, uh, yep. He should level here. Hope lives in the edge of my place. Woo! That's clean. Attack. I immediately strike the weakest enemy. Uh, oh, so when he attacks, he immediately strikes something, which is actually... I feel like that's how Yasuo should work, to be honest. And then uh, he has the same thing. Round start reduced to the cost of, the, of a spell to him by one this round. Flow, grant all allied everywhere. What? That's, what? What are you talking about? Each strike spells a new legacy. So, Alpha Strike. Form before strength. How are you gonna dodge that? Oh, you're not. Let us see if you are worthy. Does the wind stop to consider which direction to blow, master? You are a fledgling child flailing his arms. Oh, well. Wuju style. Wuju style. Meditation calms a cluttered mind. Wu Ting style. Wait, why would you do that? Form before strength. Oh, okay, that's funny. Show me your skill. Another OTK all. master. Our opponent was worthy, but inferior. My lesson is complete. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. When you're just done with this this nonsense of the sword, you just pick up Lee Sin's legs and you just kick people with it, which is fantastic. Uh, all right, so like I, I figured I'd say uh, a lot of stuff that I was saying in the other video that I didn't release is that 
it seems that he's going to work like that. He's going to be very spell heavy. It's going to be Lee Sin Esh. Uh, but the difference is I feel like you have to play certain cards in a round because he's more synergizing with flow. But it doesn't seem like he has crazy synergy with flow. It's just something that's a nice to have. Uh, and oh, okay, so it's corrected here. Here we go. Uh, the other ones just said uh, in the video was messed up. It just said grant all allied whatever. Now this one actually says grant all allied master yees everywhere plus two. And he has to be on the board to see that. He's a three drop. That's why I, I kind of kept forgetting what, uh, what drop he is. So that's awesome. So he's kind of like, in a sense, like darkness. You know, like he if he's on the field, he's going to boost up all the yees. And the, all the yees in the place to be. He's just boosting them up like crazy. He has absolutely no inherent synergy <laughs> with, with the equipment. It's just a nice to have a, a nice thing to put on him uh, I love the alpha strike thing the attack I immediately strike the weakest enemy that's fantastic I think that that's really cool especially obviously if he has lifesteal uh, especially if you pair him up in Demacia you know you cataclysm him he's going to strike the weakest enemy uh, which if the, which is crazy is that since he has quick attack he can actually attack an enemy let's say if the weakest enemy is still pretty damn strong he can strike the enemy real quick and then on top of that <laughs> uh, then hit him with his his base attack and then he will be able to pick, uh, go through that that's really strong uh, his is a lot of removal he's going to be able to sit there and control the board for a lot and he's in a, a very strong protective state which is going to be Ionia which they have Nopify they have denies they have a you know they have the twin disciples they have a lot of ways to kind of keep them the, the unit alive so I think that that's what you're gonna be seeing here uh, very spell focused very get out ye and, and protect him and then he kind of ends the game by himself because he's gonna be attacking a lot and, and, and striking things and the best other thing about the fact that he immediately strikes he can remove a blocker at burst speed essentially <laughs> as soon as he commits the block he can remove a blocker if his attack is high enough and if you had him out here doing all this nonsense long enough he absolutely will be. He will gain. He will gain strength every time flow is activated. I'm, like I said, I'm assuming he has to see it. He has to be there around start. Now, what other thing that I see here that was a little awkward? Um, I like that they switched the positions of this for some weird reason during the thing. Um, I don't know why they did that. Uh, his animation was phenomenal. Uh, but that one thing I wanted to see with, and they paired him with Nami, which is pretty funny, right? Because Nami, the tunes, I guess, is going to give him spell mana. Uh, the flow is the thing that I kind of wanted to see. The the equipment, sorry. The equipment, does that count as Blade a thing? And mind. Hold One. Concentrate and he plays another card. Spirit well. And he gives himself another thing. So that, does that activate flow? I'm in your mind's eye. I can feel it. It's and what, oh yeah, yeah, that card specifically activates twice. If I remember correctly, if it's triggered, right? That that card specifically activates twice. So it's it just. Spirit. Damn it. Hold and I feel like Mogwai right now. Concentrate, you. Yes, uh, if you have equipped an ally this game, play a copy of me on the same target. So yeah, it's a one cost thing, but if you had actually equipped a card, then you're you're safe enough that it will give plus two. Uh, for one mana, it's giving plus two instead of just plus one. So that's it. So. I guess he's triggering flow that way, so I can't see that. I, I'm assu I, I don't know if equipments count as spells, but I'm see assuming not. In your mind's eye. I can but that's it. two spells and blinding. to save him from that spell. Spirit. And then he In got the boost. Blow, his spirit lives on. Just the one I was looking for. My helmet could do some work. One spell, two spells. Violet Health potions will keep him alive as well. See, every time he does it, I, I can't tell because this would be the third spell, even if it counts as a spell anyway. Uh, anyway, let's on Mobile Lytics, these are the only cards that they have right now, so it does seem a little bit weird. Those are the same cards that were utilized in the, the thing. Outside of, I think, the Shadow Blade Fanatic, I think, is uh, one of the other ones. Or was that revealed before? I don't remember. All this was in there. This was a, this is a really cool card. I like it because he gets to attack. And in the in the video, they said, oh, yeah, because you're going to top deck uh, Dragon's Rage to end the game instead of attacking with E. But I like this card because it's a very different version than the, the Nexus fight, the unit from Targon. Uh, that it's elusive it's going to next strike and it brings this back to the hand and then boom you get the Vastalian Disciple sums it itself again at burst speed and then also you get to draw one which is pretty nice uh, I 
like this because I feel like it's slightly better than the Morn, but the Morn, uh, you don't need to spend all the mana, right? The Morn is cheaper. It's one mana every time you keep replaying it. Meanwhile, this one attacks and then turns into a spell card. Then you have to place two. Yes, if you have the preparation and all this other fun stuff or you on the field, this could still be one mana and it's going through the, the spell mana, which is what you want anyway. But I guess it's really, it, it's an interesting card. I think it's a definitely instant include, I think in a lot of, Ionian decks, I feel like this would be in a lot of Ionian decks. I feel like you might run this over Droplet or something like that, but Droplet it might be have a little bit more synergy, but I think it's a really good Ionian card. This card's pretty nice. It gets preparation. If Yi's out, he's gonna turn this into a zero mana, and then it's gonna make another spell cheaper. Uh, if he, if, even if the, what's it called, like even if Yi hits something else and then you preparation it, it it's not, it doesn't make too much sense, uh, but it, it's a free spell and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a free spell activation because obviously it costs one, it reduces the cost of something by one. So it's just a free spell activation just so you can start hitting the flow more uh, easier. And I'm curious if they're going to then change the other cards like Claw, what is it? I keep saying Claw the Dragon, but Eye of the Dragon. Are they going to change that to say Flow? Because it's the same stupid thing. They should just change the terminology so it makes sense across the board for any card that works like that in the future. Like this one costs two mana if you play two cards, but it's the next turn. And I think that that was the one thing I didn't know. If they, Was they going to make Flow different from Eye of the Dragon to where it's that turn? So you play two spells that turn and then it happens? Or were they going to make it exactly like Eye of the Dragon? They made it exactly like Eye of the Dragon. So I'm very curious on other cards that are going to come out like like deep you know deep meditation is another one it's going to have to read uh when i when flow is activated i cost two less or whatever they're going to have to change a lot of cards i think just to make flow a more you know make more sense in the thing but it's already something in the game which is pretty cool so it's not like a new keyword it's just a a uh you know a glossary index thing that makes it make makes thing make more sense for you uh as far as Yi himself though i think he's strong i think he's pretty good he is basically like a, a thing that just gains attack. <laughs> That's all he's really doing. He's gaining attack. He's lowering the cost of spells. I wonder if I can't think of anything on top of my head that's going to make it like, oh, baby. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Misfall will be good, right? You draw an equipment when I'm summoning, draw an equipment. And then the first time each round, an unequipped ally is equipped, refill the spell mana. I actually wonder if there will be some synergies with, uh, with the nonsense that is the other landmark, the auto recall for free. You know, there's a lot of weird implications that you could try, and I also think that this would be really good with like something like Victor. Uh, Victor, since these are creating spells, this one's creating a spell. Well, this one's transforming, so it's not creating a spell. I think technically that's how that works. But I wonder if you know what other archetypes will be going with it, and does this bring Lee Sin back? Because you know, you have two Ionias units before it was like Lee Sin, and then I forgot whoever the hell was the other unit uh, that would go in there with Lee Sin, but now you may be able to do that. Maybe it's also going to help out, you know, uh, Lee Sin, you bring in Ionia and Shirima, you just run all the protection from Shirima to keep Yi alive, and then he's just going to eventually win the game. You, but you do have to find a way to give him Overwhelm, and there's a ton of ways to give Overwhelm. There's also Overwhelm, uh, where is it? Uh, overwhelm... Uh, equipments now so there could be a thing where maybe you just splash in noxus and then you just have this way and then noxus has other ways to give you overwhelm as well who knows i think that he is a you know obviously has a lot of attack but if he you know he, he needs to do something with that attack and he needs penetration or he needs to have lifesteal so you can uh instantly get your health back after doing all that stuff and lifesteal guess what is in ionia uh, they have that shield that gives uh, that gives a uh, barrier and life steal, and then if he's leveled, he's gonna life steal hit two things, and the opponent really can't respond to that first initial strike, which is amazing. So let me know what you guys think about Yi. I think he's fantastic. I think that I think this is going to be really strong. I think that this is going to be an, an amazing uh, inclusion into the game. I do think that I he still needs a little bit more support. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I mean, you could just throw Bard in there, right? <laughs> just, <laughs> just chuck in some Bard because he just needs defense. He, his, his attack grows automatically, so he definitely just needs something that's going to protect his health, right? When he needs to block or anything like that. So I don't know if there's enough protection from him. Maybe you even splash it in Freljord. Freljord has a ton of spells. Maybe you run the old school Freljord archetype where you're just running the Puff Cap, well, not Puff Cap Peddler, but you're running like Troll Chance and, and Freezes and all this other nonsense to keep your unit alive. And and then he just kind of ends the game. I don't, yeah, failure. No, failure actually has access to. Yes, failure has access to overwhelm now to give overwhelm through Udir in the stances. So maybe, maybe you go Yi Udir. 
I might make that deck. That sounds promising because you have an instant stat stick in a, a beautiful region. That might be my deck. You dear stance changes and equipments and depending on what Freyo goes, it might even be a little bit more simpler than that. You heard it here, folks. You dear top tier. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.